Uh, today I'll be talking about transitional cell carcinoma. Um, the reason, oh, this is an overview of my presentation. Uh, I'll be talking about why, uh, why I'm talking about this, define uh, TCC transitional cell carcinoma, the causes of TCC, common symptoms, diagnosis, and evaluation, the main three treatment options, and is TCC preventable. So the reason why I'm talking about this is because I volunteered at the Purdue Small Animal Hospital in the oncology department. Uh, I have a general interest in oncology, and I kind of just wanted to expand my knowledge on TCC. So what is t uh, transitional cell carcinoma? TCC is a malignant tumor that develops from the transitional epithelial cells that line the bladder. Uh, TCC is the most common cancer of the dog bladder. It is, uh, it's from intermediate to high grade. Um, TCC is also known as uh, eutherial carcinoma. Uh, it is commonly found in the bladder, but it can also develop in the kidneys, uterus, prostate, and urethra. Um, uh, as the cancer progresses, uh, it can obstruct the flow of the urine from kidneys to the bladder or from the bladder to the outside of the body. Uh, there are two general um, categories of the bladder. Cancer falls under low grade, um, which is intermediate, uh, which is superficial tumors, and higher grade, which is invasive tumors. Uh, typically in dogs, they develop the higher grade, the invasive forms. Uh, what causes TCC? Uh, the exact cause of TCC is unknown, although a combination of factors such as genetic predisposition and environmental factors are thought to be the cause. Uh, genetic disposition, predisposition, predisposition would be classified as uh, the specific breeds of dogs such as Scottish Terriers, uh, which have an 18 to 20 fold of developing TCC, uh, Scotland sheep, sheep dogs, Beagles, West Highland White Terriers, and Wire Hair Fox Terriers, which are three to five more times likely to develop TCC. Uh, there are also environmental factors such as pesticides and insecticides such as old generation uh, flea dips. Also there's a study going on uh, to determine if secondhand smoke uh, causes the development of TCC as well. What are the clinical signs and symptoms of TCC? So the most common symptoms associated with TCC are blood in the urine, straining to urinate, and frequent attempts to urine or to urinate. Uh, these symptoms can also be that of a urinary tract infection. Uh, less common symptoms include lameness, a perineoplastic uh, syndrome called hypertrophic osteopathy. Uh, bladder infection, bladder stones, and bladder infection can also cause similar symptoms as TCC. So the diagnosis and evaluation of TCC. Uh, TCC requires a tissue biopsy to be uh, Diagnosed, tumor staging is performed to determine the location and the size of the tumor through radiographs and ultrasounds of the chest cavity and the abdomen. Oh, as you can see, this is this is the normal female dog um, urinary tract. Uh, urinary tract. Um, these are the kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder, and the urethra. They're all clear. There's no tumor, and. Um, this is one with TCC, the masses in the bladder, um, even larger down here, and you can see there's no tumor in the kidneys, ureters, but there are uh, masses within the urinary bladder and almost in the urethra. So these are um, ultrasounds of TCC, as this one is in the bladder, and it says it's about 28.3 millimeters long. Uh, these are some other pictures as well. Uh, you can see the tumors growing where my mouse is pointing. I'm assuming, I think, I believe those are also in the bladder as well. But uh, what are the treatments, treatment options for TCC? Um, first, if the tumor is located away from the neck of the bladder and the urethra, uh, you will exercise it. Um, radiation is often not performed as it can cause harmful complications to surrounding organs. Uh, therefore, treatment option one would include administering uh, paroxicam, which is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory anti drug, also known as NSAID. This blocks the um, psychooxygenase enzyme. Um, 
treatment option two would include a combination of paroxicam and mitrocentrone. Um, treatment three option um, would include administering vinblast, uh, vinblastine and two week intervals. Regardless of the treatment pursued, the tumor uh, is remeasured after four to eight weeks of treatment to determine if the tumor has increased in size. So can TCC be prevented? TCC is not preventable, but to reduce the risk, especially in dogs of high risk breeds, as discussed in earlier slides, uh, first you want to avoid older generation flea control products like the flea dips. Second, you want to avoid, um, oh, this, sorry, this was say lawn treat, uh, lawn treats, uh, lawn treats, or whatever, treated. lawns treated with <laughs> herbicides and pesticides. And three, feeding vegetables at least three times per week. I'm not exactly sure why. I, I'm going to say broccoli has been shown to have some anti-cancer stuff for dogs. Do you know exactly why? Well, there's a chemical in broccoli, and it's also true for humans. No, but I, and I think somebody else a couple years ago was working down at the oncology department like you did, and somebody made a comment that, uh, you know, they really recommend broccoli for dogs, because there's something in there. There's, you know, chemical X, I can't remember what it is now, but yeah. And see, like Tess, who's gone, Tess and I feed homemade so we can, you know, put vegetables in there and stuff like that easily. I like that recommendation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so all three of these recommendations have been proven to reduce oh, TCC okay. as well. There you go. Okay. And those are my references. There's your references. Let's give them a round of applause. Those diehard people of us. I want you to put your name on that card because I okay. to replace the card I left at home. But uh, no, that's uh, whenever you see the word. Transi transitional, it's really transitional epithelium that's occurring in the whole urinary tract. So, excellent. Oops, I don't want to trip.